Everything's better in Texas and we love to buy local. So what do we have here that we can do natively for our gardens? So these are a few of my very favorite natives. Um, I'll start with the rock rose. So this is our native Texas rock rose. It prefers really dry soil um, and likes very, very sunny conditions. It's drought tolerant um, and they just bloom from spring, kind of like this. They're just about to open, but they bloom through spring through all the way through fall. So this is a long blooming plant. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And he's so dainty. Lovely. They do get large though. Do the, they? They will get, mine at home are about three and a half feet wide. Wow. So they will bush up okay. for sure. Okay. Um, this is a really common wildflower. It is a fire wheel and it will come so back pretty. from the roots if we have a really mild winter, but typically they seed out. And okay. so they'll kind of make babies all around themselves for the next year. Well, that's nice. That really is handy. It is a, just a beautiful flower. It looks like a fire wheel to me. Yeah, it sure does. Great, great colors. This is probably my favorite native. This is a giant cone flower or a bog cone flower. Okay. So this is actually an uh, evergreen foliage that gets about a foot and a half tall. Nice. And stays evergreen, this silvery evergreen. So we have that all year? All year. Okay. That's right. But in the summertime, it sends up these enormous spikes that are probably about as tall as you. Yeah. And, and they're the color? Yellow. Oh, they're yellow cone, cone flowers. So these guys, they're beautiful. They can um, be in boggy conditions. They can be in drought tolerant conditions. They're great. Okay. The other thing I like about these is that they are food for the birds. So nice. leave the seed heads on, let the birds come and take the seeds. Awesome. That is yeah. great. And sun, full sun okay? Full sun, but can do part shade. Okay. Yep. All right. And what's and the other one This we have? last guy, this is Peter's Purple Monarda. That is a uh, bee balm native to our area. Okay. And bees, butterflies, they love it. It is a deeper kind of purple than the normal pinkish bee balm that we okay. see in the wildflower fields. Okay. Um, but it does come back every year from its root base. And is it a bush or a ground cover? It looks like it's gonna spread out a little bit. It's almost both. So they do spread out around the base of the plant, okay. but whenever it's their time to shine, mm -hmm. they come up and they, they're like a perennial. That's about two feet tall with their flower spikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, beautiful. Well, we want to buy local and we want to buy native. So these are Ooh. some great choices. Yes. Hey, did you hear about the Woodlands rebate? <gasps> no. Okay. So you can buy up to $300 worth of native plants and get 50% back on your water bill that, if you live in the Woodlands Township. That is amazing. Yeah. We need to talk about that in Harris County too. That's in, right. In our other surrounding counties. We gotta save the water. Right, saving the water, buying our native plants, and it just, it helps the environment and- It helps beautiful. our wildlife. And yeah. they're just beautiful. Well, thank you very much, Abby. Sure.